about the terrible light on this video. I don't know, I think it's the bad weather. Just colouring in my little face. Lovely saturated canary image. My new favourites, I absolutely love them. Regretting already, colouring with red. In her little eyes, and the layers of her dress. Just a couple of colours to blend because she's so tiny. Colouring in the blue and blending, I think I used three reds on that one. And the same for her hair, I used three browns. Just like the same colour group, going light to dark. A little more dark, I'll come up in a minute. And there we go, just to like a little bit of definition. And a little bow. I wish I'd done that red actually. Never mind, it's done now. The greys for the sole of the boot. And a little bit of shading with C1, C3 um, and Colourless Blender. Add in a little bit of colour with the Copic Speaker Glitter Pen. A little bit of sparkle. Just starting to make the card and the postman knocked on the door so I had to stop. Oh, that's a, a pilot white pen, it's great, brilliant. And uh, my stash all that just came through the post. Some Copics, a free pen, a left-handed pen for my son. A lovely little smiley face paper clip they put in. That was from Colt Pens. Uh, this is just from Sarah Stantlock. Uh, Copic wallet for pen 72. Uh, Versifying black. That's going to be brilliant for crops. And a few more pens. Never have enough pens. Mainly chows, but a couple of. Um, sketch markers. I haven't got many of those and I just want to see if it's any different. Uh, no, it's not. The, the nib is exactly the same as on the channels and the ink is the same inside so it's just preference which one you want. Putting the card front together Merrily going along, not realising that the base part hasn't been cut correctly and is too big for my card. I need to cut that down later. Cutting out, uh, not cutting, uh, stamping a sentiment and punching it out. The stamping up oval punch and the coordinating scallop oval punch, which wasn't punching. And my daughter was just stealing back her scissors then.
and a few flowers just laying on my desk and a couple of brads so I just thought I'd put those on the corner. I was trying to do this card with my three children practically standing around my back. I could barely move so I couldn't really get anywhere in my craft room to get anything different. And the rest of my craft room is stuffed with boxes for Christmas presents. So I fall over every time I leave my chair. No reattaching the centre because I'd have to cut it down. And putting it onto the front of the card. Okay, doing the inside of the card, just coordinating papers, well, the same papers actually. Just simple L shape. I like doing an L shape because it gives you that crossover with it's somewhere really nice to put the sentiment. The same sentiment because I've never got very many, I need to get some. You can't buy everything at once, can you? It's a shame. There we go, all done. Oh no, I decided to add some ribbon. I think I was trying to disguise the fact that the, the picture mount is on slightly wonky. Yay, done.